Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and of course who needs therapy I do so I have done a little bit of retail therapy to get me in the swing of things and I have bought these a little while ago so I'm looking about three weeks ago um, and they were a purchase that I did for Eid but um, I thought I'd share with you guys what, it, what I got, what they look like, all the little bits and bobs about them and why I purchased them. So as I'm getting into the swing of things, I have a few designer handbags, some designer jewellery, but shoes was one of the things where I was kind of like, I would like some shoes, but I want iconic pieces. Pieces that are just like, oh my God, they're gorgeous. They're just statement dribbling. I'm thinking about them dribbling. They're statement shoes. So um, I purchased the statement collection, obviously, from Tom Ford. So, I have had my eyes on Tom Ford shoes for ages. I love the lock, padlock sandal, and it comes in so many different colours, and it's just such a versatile shoe. I was going to go for a black when I first um, started researching about them, because I thought like, oh, I'll be able to wear it with everything. But the more I got into looking at them and seeing the launches, I realised I really wanted to go for a colour. I was just about to buy the fuchsia pink, the hot stunning satin pink because it was gorgeous then i went into harrods and um they had a whole new summer range up and i was like so there are a few that caught my eye there was the metallic green there was the satin green there was the fuchsia pink still and apparently there was another color but it skipped my mind so obviously it, it wasn't one so I stood in the shop, I went back three times to have a think about them and I nearly bought two pairs but I had to like restrain myself because I had another pair of shoes I had bought and another pair of shoes I had bought. So I was like, okay, I need to kind of calm it down a little bit. But I am really, really happy with them. And can you guess what color I got? Drum roll. Oh, I didn't even open it. <laughs> I have one here that I had prepared. I bought the satin green look at that look how gorgeous that is i mean she is a moment i love the fact that it's a shoe that could go with anything imagine this with like a jeans moment with like a nice normal top it's a color that would just work with everything it's that pickled onion green and i'm living for it i never we all know i love blue never thought i was a green person but apparently my life is changing and i'm changing and this is the little lady i ended up leaving with so the padlock shoes come in a range of styles they do a court as well i believe which is a closed closed shoe and they have just a whole cute little range but obviously i have my tom ford zip bag and the lock and the zip together i just thought would be so cute because as a kid i also was like really into like edgy zips and things like that i know that sounds weird but i used to actually attach zips to my nails i have changed since then but you know that, that was a moment but yes yeah, so i've had my eye on the tom ford shoes for quite a while there are two other pairs of shoes that i have my eye on i'm not going to reveal it just yet because there's some things in the pipeline but just look at the cute as you can tell i did say i wore it for eid but look at the cute detail on that just a little lock and key and it's so flattering like honestly so cute even the details on the heel you can get ribbed heels i believe as well um but this one has like the little groove there and the groove detail around the heel at the bottom so cute obviously the tom ford on the inside as well and it's just made so well and you would be surprised they're actually a sturdy shoe so i wore this for a shot um in the coworth park and i walked through mud i can't believe i did that with 850 pound shoes eight 890 even not 850 890 shoes i walked into um mud and i was like i'm sinking i can't do this i'm sinking but they weren't stained at all or the tiny bit i mean i've worn them in quite rugged conditions very slight fuzz but i think that happens with wear with satin anyway 
but the colour is just, mmm, I love them so much. So for the price point of $8.90, I think they're really, really, really reasonable because um, obviously I've got my Mac and Max as well, which I'll be doing a little video on. I think I sneakily said that, but they shouldn't have. Ow. Shouldn't have. I'm just a whole bit of mess. I've got hay fever. Life is just crazy. And I'm trying not to sniffle. I've sneezed about 100 times. I also had an eye situation this morning where it was so itchy. So I'm just having a day today. But... Tom Ford shoes make it all better. So I'm gonna go talk through about the packaging and everything. So they come in this really nice box, although I wasn't too impressed with the box. It is classy, but in school, I used to do this thing where I used to stick things on. Can you see where it's like a piece of paper stuck on? So, mm, I like my, my boxes to be durable because I keep my shoes in their boxes. But when you open it, packaged really well probably should have done this the other way around but never mind and then the shoes come in a dust bag for each shoe so there's two dust bags to keep your shoes in i would 100 percent recommend leaving the shoes in their dust bags because you want to look after them you don't want you don't want the the metal to tarnish because I do think it, it will tarnish over time if you don't look after it and you let it rub on a lot of things. So it's really important that you you know keep keep them in the bag so that they don't they don't get wrecked. But yeah, I just think an iconic shoe, an easy shoe, this is your girl. And I would totally recommend getting something from that range. If you um really wanted to, I would even look at the nudes because they have a nude colour and a black colour. And if you wanted one that you would wear with anything, if you felt like you couldn't wear a colour with anything, although I would 100% say, get a colour and it will be a statement with any outfit. Although, yeah, reduced wear, who cares? If it makes you happy and it suits your outfit, wear it. But I would say get a colour because I think the colours are just so iconic with Tom Ford. And I mean, Jimmy Choo do have a similar shoe out at the moment in the same colour but it's the Seder. I have the Seder in multiple colours. I'll do a little unboxing of that as well. But this colour I think is just so gorgeous and just classic. If you're looking for a classic shoe, here is your girl and a, a shoe to add to your collection. I think there's a few shoes I would absolutely believe any designer collection should have and that's the YS YSL Opium stunning shoe the Seda from jimmy choo um the bing from jimmy choo as well if that's your vibe then gorgeous the big 100s and these these little babies so these were on my list for ages because i thought they were the most iconic shoe but i'm so happy i got them in this summer pickled onion green because they're just they're just so beautiful like she's sophisticated she is classy but she's fun and she knows her fashion so this is that shoe so thanks so much for tuning in i thought i'd do a quick little video here a little unboxing kind of thing i have no idea what order i've done this in but as you can tell i need therapy and retail therapy is the best therapy so join me get yourself some retail therapy like share and subscribe click the little bell icon bell icon click the little bell icon and let me know what you want to see more of. I love sharing my designer bits with you guys, my lifestyle and just building a little community on here. I'm already meeting some fantastic people and yeah, share with me what you've got as well. Maybe you'll get a few things I want to add to my list. So thanks again. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one.